my drive to work is along the coastline. So uh, there's a particular cove, this one here, where I'm able to see the beach when it has kelp, which is quite often, certainly after storms, but uh, a lot of people gather from it. So um, I just found, saw that there was a little bit there for me to pick up today, and this will be going on my garden bed to provide nutrients and a mulch. Here I've just, um, I, when I get home, I lay it out in the grass and uh, wait for a rainfall to come, and that just washes some of the salt off. Then it will go on my garlic bed. Hi, it's evening here, and but it's a gorgeous evening. It's, um, I think it's 13 degrees up here, and uh, I thought it was a good time to pull out the last of the artichokes. These are the ones that didn't get big enough to flower, so I don't anticipate too much in there. Um, but I did pull the ones out that flowered earlier, and uh, I found I like them. First time growing, and I've tried them many different ways. They're earthy. I had them in one meal, I can't remember what it was. I think I made a Costa Rican stew, and I really tasted it in that, and it was different, um, but I've cooked it several ways, and uh, I really like them. Anyway, I'm just gonna pull the last ones out. As I say, I don't anticipate too much, but let's see what, what we get. So this is what, there's different types. This is what, I can't remember the name of this one. Um, if I do find it, I'll put it on the top there. But um, this is what they look like. These are smaller ones. The other ones I got were bigger. Uh, there was all sizes, but there was a lot of bigger ones. But I'm pleased, because these plants, as I say, didn't even get to flower. And I'm really looking at these ones now to figure out where I'm going to replant. So I'm hoping I get a couple anyway. Let's see what else is here. trying to save some of the dirt that I have because I will be replanting here also this is a very contained area they can't get loose here okay that's that so here's some of the other plants oh you won't be able to see that anyways they were quite big they're beautiful sunflowerish flower on the top Again, very small, but this is how um, Terry King of the Robotic Gardener allotments, if um, I'm saying that wrong, but he likes them small to eat them raw. And to be honest, I haven't even tried them raw yet, so I will do that, Terry. He used to put them in his lunchbox, I believe. See how small uh, this little tiny wee plant, and he's only got tiny wee things on him. But I do believe, if I'm correct, that these will grow just as well if I replant them. I don't think size really matters too much. So they're all stuck right to the roots of the plant. have them in this hole. You might have seen earlier where when I planted them it's because they're uh, invasive, not in a horrible way, not that you can't contain them. Um, not like the Japanese knotwood, which I have, but they are a bit invasive. 
so um, I've got them in this they can't escape out of here but I am going to I like them so much I'm going to actually find another spot also where they can maybe spread a bit more and I can get a bit more of a yield from them. so that's probably it I think that they're all stuck I don't think they're loose in here anyway I'll bring you down and show you what we got going crazy. Yeah, they're really easy to harvest. You just yank it and it's a, that's what you get. What's attached to it? You don't have to look after them. They grow in pretty much any soil. And uh, they keep coming back. Uh, you just have to stick it back in the ground. So what's not to love about them? Anyway, I'll show you what I got. So there they are. Not representative, by the way, of a full-grown plant with its flower and then it's dying off. These are the ones, as I said, that, um, oh, they weren't going to reach flower stage, certainly. And um, they were very tiny. So now I'll go and figure out where I'm going to plant these. Bit by bit, each night when I come home from work, I just try to pick some veg and cook some for dinner and uh, put some away. So it's just a lot of little bits and bobs out there now. <laughs> 